Yesterday we announced we're making a $600 million investment to, create a, to gain a strategic 9.4% equity interest in red back mining. That investment redeploys cash on the balance sheet into a key stake in a high growth, well managed gold mining company with assets in West Africa. The rationale for this investment is simple. West Africa has been a region of tremendous growth in our sector, showing impressive increases in gold reserves, almost a double the reserves there in the last five years, to some 90 million ounces. Proven and probable gold reserves are going to continue to increase in this region, and we want to be there early. We've consistently said we like gold and potential and would invest there with saw the right asset, along with an exceptional management team. The transaction also gives our investors enhanced leverage for the gold price through investment in a high-quality gold-producing company with excellent growth potential. We'll also have a board seat on the Redback Board, and I think uh, a front row seat for the high-growth region that is West Africa. We've been telegraphing this uh, move into West Africa for some two years. We've been looking hard and scrubbing with due diligence and technical work a number of opportunities in West Africa. And this is the very best team, we think, with the very best assets in the region. Uh, it provides tremendous leverage to the gold price. We have a billion dollars of cash on our balance sheet, so we use 600 million of that to buy this strategic state. We can't speak to what comes next there. It'll be a, a time of drilling and development at, uh, at Redback. But we're very op you know, op uh, optimistic about what we're going to see in the future from, uh, from the company, and we think we've got a strategic state there. Having that management team allows us to spend our time focusing on the growth projects that are sitting in front of Kim Ross today.